Speaking of our chief Washington correspondent, James Rosen, in America's election headquarters tonight, James takes us through the 2016 tug of war between the establishment candidates and the up-and-comers. Murphy's Diner in Manchester offered the first of five New Hampshire stops for Republican Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, with the Londonderry Fish and Game Club in Litchfield prompting the 2016 presidential prospect to switch out his suit jacket for one with greater appeal to gun owners. New Hampshire Democrats swiftly jumped on these comments about individuals whom Paul accused of gaming the system. Over half the people on disability are either anxious or their back hurts. Join the club, you know? And I'm not saying there aren't legitimately people who are disabled, but if you have a, a, a able-bodied people taking the money, then there's not enough money left for the people who are truly disabled. Rand Paul has uh, yet again uh, proven that he's not any new type of Republican. He isn't a leader who wants to help Americans get a fair shot. After a Common Core event designed to contrast the libertarian Paul with former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, a supporter of the controversial education standards, Paul called Mitt Romney, the 2012 nominee who's been signaling he will run again, a good person and good businessman, but suggested rank-and-file Republicans ought to look for, quote, somebody new. The same old, same old has been tried, and if we try the same thing again, we might get the same result. Chris Christie, another GOP hopeful with strong ties to Wall Street, is reportedly forming a leadership pack, a step towards a presidential run already taken by Jeb Bush that will help the New Jersey governor fundraise and travel about. Bush's early action has spurred just about everyone in the crowded GOP field to speed up their deliberations. A lot of names get involved, so do you have a timeline? Well, we need to do it soon enough so that we can mount a credible yeah. campaign, and so we're getting close. Across the aisle, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, the economic populist whom many on the left have called on to challenge Hillary Clinton if the former Secretary of State seeks the Democratic nomination, seemed to put a hard stop to all of that, telling Fortune magazine no when asked if she will run for president. Brett? James, thank you.